All right, everyone here can imagine my excitement. We got the Seapro 248 Bay Deluxe. We're gonna take a quick look at it. This one's not mine, but uh, mine's coming. We have the man, the man with the plan, the man behind the scenes. RJ makes everything tick over at Seapro. Don't you believe anyone else? <laughs> Well, All right, what we got here, bud? Uh, first off, this is a brand new 248, and uh, one of the main things that you can see here is we also have a forward uh, pressurized live well. Um, not a whole lot of people are doing this. Um, it's same as the uh, what we're doing on the 239 and the 219. Um, so 239 is pressurized, same exact deal here. Um, that water will fill all the way to the top of this, so your bait doesn't slosh around, especially being in the front. Um, the blade takes a lot of stress and a lot of beating around. When it being pressurized, it kind of reduces that. Yeah, that's that's an awesome feature because you, you know even fish that you have in there, you keep it yep. alive. Yep, for sure. A lot of a lot of these fish that we can overload, like pogies, bunker, even mackerel, you could lo overload them and they won't take a beat, and they'll they'll get in the corner real good and keep it running. And I mean, we can already overload it. Now we can overload it even more because it's pressurized. You know, that's great for sure. Uh, also, we've got the same fish box that we've have in the 228. Um, it's fully finished in there. Really nice, good good box. That gel uh, coat's have, great. Yeah, for sure. Um, drains. We've also our gutter gets drained back nice. into the deck, um, so it's not into the bilge. Um, instead of putting a giant lip drain in it, we've just kind of went through and drained it back out of the deck, right. just so we don't have to have those nasty, ugly troughs that right. have to run all the way across the deck. That you have to um, clean because they get all muddy and funky. Yep. Mildew. Uh, That's right. Bell same i'm gonna uh, show i know it's the same but i'm gonna check this i love these it's awesome design man you can drop pretty much any size anchor look how wide that is that is just crazy in there how wide that gets look at that <laughs> i've had in my uh old 2100 22 foot bay i had to buy a, you know i had to use a 34 anchor for a 34 foot boat for what i do and i had yep. to cut the bars off to make it fit on the ends ain't, ain't no cutting for these oh uh, and also we go with the larger cleats all, all right. the way around Giant five pop -up cleats large pop-up cleats um i haven't quite got the measurement on these he said an eight and a half foot rod yeah it's said. about eight and a half feet. that is gigantic um, fit an eight and a half foot rod. fit an eight and a half foot rod four of them in there yep and these pop out if you just yep. want to use them as fish boxes. Yeah, right? if you want to or use them storage. as fish boxes, these pins just uh, kind of quick release. Mm -hmm. You flip the little tab over, pulls it out. Just remove all the way out of there. You got larger That's stuff sweet. you want to fit in there. You want to put your rods in it. You kind of just lock it back in again. Right. Um, if you don't put rods, this is a great spot for gas nets, dip nets, you know, landing nets. Sure. Camera poles. Uh, also locking gym latches. Um, another thing we have is these. Um, blue sky blue sea bumpers mm -hmm. i think is what their uh the real name for them is um kind of quick release you can put anything you want to it really if you want to put a dock line in it right now we're using it as a bumper uh you pretty much just squeeze it and lift out and you, there's a, multiple attachments you can use to put in here um some of the other guys have been putting them into the hull uh, we don't really like that i think it works real nice like this yeah um another big thing is this is a very large console uh for this boat could put a head in it you can uh i mean we're pretty good sized fellows i mean i'm six yeah. foot and uh there's plenty of room to climb up you can have a pump out head or even a you know porta potty anything you want there's yeah. a lot of room in here yeah um, look at that I, I mean i can stand up you know i have to be hunched over but and he's six foot it's, it's a good size console for sure yeah um i like the way it's all the, the cover here covers yep, up all your wiring all your wiring and a fresh fresh water shower you can do in here too right uh yes yep this boat doesn't have it but we will uh, have the fresh water shower mine's gonna have it for those sweaty days <laughs> right now it'd be nice. the port <laughs> right there so you can get the ventilation yeah look at that that's open yep that's open it also comes with a screen oh, that's nice it's it's nice and big too yeah that's good uh, the other new feature that we have is this new style t-top um, you know, it's just a lot nicer, a lot cleaner. Uh, the way that, that everything is tucked in here and hid, there's no wires, as you can see in here. Yeah. You can't see anything. Even if you was to put a radar on here or a VHF, you can't see none of the wires. We've got uh, access hatches with diffuse panel right here. Yeah. Uh, very easy access. 
you know, if you happen to blow a fuse, you can get to it. It's not a pain. Um, nice door. Uh, we also have the molded in speakers, mm -hmm. the spreader lights, and on the front, there's an, an additional set of speakers that are molded in. Uh, that makes it real clean. You know, it's everything's all one unit up there. I, I really, I really like it. And this is our new uh, sea creature color. That is nice. It sets it off. And, and another thing that's really nice is that even when you're boarding, um, you know, a lot of people when you step up onto a boat, it's especially with the gunnels, it's kind of hard to step down. You don't really have nothing to hang on to. But right. we have this integrated grab rail that's in the T-top. You know, it's very easy to, to hang on to. Right. Like boarding and unboarding. Uh, it's just, I really like this. It yeah. It's really nice. From a fisherman standpoint, I love it because what's hard top? It's hard top. I can add rod holders if I want. If I want to add two or three on the side, I got that rail now. Yep. That's that's a killer there, man. Uh, another thing we've got is these. Uh, we move back to the leaning post here. Is flip up bolsters. This is what we're going to call our deluxe leaning post. It'll have uh, flip up bolsters and a tackle center underneath it. Um, I think it's got two trays, two trays, and a drawer. Pulls out. Very nice. Uh, I think this will come out very easy. Yeah. Wash it or whatever you need to do. Your rigging leaders, whatever you need to do. Um, it will come with four rod holders, I do believe. Right, welded on rod yeah, holders. Welded just on like rod that. holders, just like those. All right, let's check out this bad boy. And also with a giant bench seat here. It slides out, it locks just like on our other bay boats, um, so you don't have to worry about it flipping up. It just locks right in there. And ain't coming up. Slide it out, lift it up. You got a huge back That's a seat. heck of a bench, man. I mean, you can fit three people here. That's right. If, well, if it's, you want to. I mean, we're. I mean, I'm six foot. He's six foot. I'm two hundred and what ten? You're what one forty? Whoa, whoa, calm down. You're about one forty. Okay, one fifty. <laughs> and we have room for at least another one fifty. Yes, for sure, for sure. And uh, one more thing here. This little guy. Oh, you guys in here. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing in there, Jamie? <laughs> Is it warm in there? Is Very. The AC is not working the down there? AC is not working in there. <laughs> also, Dude, that this, is awesome. This is where you drain your uh, front, <laughs> front live oil. You get drained here, and it goes out to the manifold. Uh, also, this is the rear pressurized live well. Um, we'll also get drained here to the manifold, so it's kind of easy access. Yeah, that's nice. No unscrewing, um, reading the back, the unscrew right. stuff. That's, sure. that's great. And, uh, also, we have that the rear pressurized live well. Same deal as the front. Right. Um, exact same setup. How big is that? I think that's 30, 30 gallons, I do believe. That's awesome. 60 gallons of live well on a boat. Yeah, we use the friction hinges yeah, we use the friction hinges hinges compression on it. latches. Pull that up. That's one thing that's really nice too, because a lot of times they'll flop right, all around. Right. Whap. Yeah, Whap. Yep. It stays wherever you leave it at. Excellent. Um, and then we have these giant dry boxes. Those are giant. And I believe. Hey, Jamie. <laughs> Jamie. <laughs> that one might be a stretch for him. <laughs> but uh, you can fit a five gallon bucket in there, uh, height wise. You might be able to fit two squares. You I might be able to fit two squares. It, mm -hmm. From milk crate, I always fish in a milk crate. Uh -huh. It's convenient. I put my cast net in it right, and you can right. rinse it out. Also, one thing that we've done is eliminated the splash well. We have to do a, a, a standard static jack plate. I believe we're going to do 10 inches, uh, 8 inches may be an option. And uh, we, we did that, you know, to increase this deck space in the back, you can also fit this 30-gallon uh, pressurized live well. Um, if we was to bring the splash well in, it kind of eliminates that whole box, and we gain a lot of storage. And, and it adds a lot of deck. You could put deck chairs back here. Oh, for I mean, sure. we can sit out here with, I mean, look at that deck, man. That, this was a heck of an addition right here. That there, I mean, because otherwise you would have this. Oh yeah, you would lose this whole pressure. Yeah, line. that's right. All right, also, this is a uh, the new flip up bolster. Um, when you're sitting up here, you've got plenty of leg room. You know, it kind of pinches you, makes your legs go to sleep. Um, I can reach this uh, secondary footrest, which is also a new feature. Um, you know, when you're, when you're kind of just up here and you're hanging on, you know, it's very, very comfortable. Right. Also, when you're in the, uh, the leaning position, kind of captures you to a little bit more support uh, on your lower back. I mean, you can. I mean, I'm six foot. I've got plenty of room in here. Yeah. Two guys, uh, and also when you got, you know, one guy can be leaning, and the other person can be sitting. Right, right, right. Uh, so you know, some of those other flip-up bolsters is sure. one giant thing. 
And another thing that I saw right away, I'm always looking for room where I can get another inch in the boat. Because this is narrower, that's narrow. If you wanted, you can move this seat up just a little bit. Yeah, yes. I mean, just an inch or so, and give you a little more room back here because it's narrower than the regular seat. Yes, for sure. Just a little, not too much. Uh, what's the beam on this? Nine, eight, eight, nine. eight, nine. Eight, nine. That's, I don't know what some of the other people are doing, but this, I mean, it feels big. Yeah, eight When you can walk past is... each other on the outside of the gun. That's right. You know, from yeah. between here. I mean, me, me and you can pass each other. Yeah, here. that's right. Mm. There's some acreage in there. A, I mean, there's a lot of room. Yeah. Sure. So it's eight foot nine beam, 24 foot, eight inches long. Yep. And I it's think a whole lot of boat. Capacity is 70 gallons. 70 gallons of the four stroke is more than plenty. Yeah. And we still got your two rod holders here on the sides. Yep. Yeah, it's nice and high too, so those big group 31s will fit. Yep. And you're putting that down in the, on the stringer so we got a lower center of gravity yep. for a better ride. And By the time when I wake up, I'm not feeling like a dog down on oh, luck. And there's a bottle on the wall, and it's calling me. Unwound the threads, I'm gonna hit the town. Send my mind to take another one down. So I head out for the hillside to set it free.
tide you'll see Whisper me softly your remedy Dry my eyes, shine my grave Well take 